Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today, guys, we're going to be jumping back down into the charts for Bitcoin, taking a look at what's been going on most recently with the price action and what I think might actually happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, smash the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and in doing so, you will not miss another update. Don't forget to join us down in Discord, though. It's a centralized hub of all of our operations. So much more happens in the Discord server than it does here on YouTube, Twitch, you know, and all the other kind of social media platforms as well. So check that out. It's free in the description below. Let's make a start. Bitcoin paired up with USDT on the hourly chart. Binance is the data source. So um, we've got some interesting kind of moves going on here. A lot of these, of course, are driven from, um, you know, the DXY coming down the way that it has. So as a DXY comes down, crypto assets go up, right? So it's important that we reflect on not only what is going on with, um, you know, Bitcoin, but also what is going on with the DXY. These two things have a habit of kind of relating to each other. So it's important that we kind of make sure that we're fully aware of all of the ins and the outs of what's going on there. Okay. So as we come back into the Bitcoin chart here, following on from what we we're talking about a few days ago, you know, it does look like we are progressing in that structure, right? We, we Although we didn't know the journey of how we we're going to get there, we were talking about $21,600 approximately, and we're right up in that range now, um, although the structure is is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Now, the structure that we have going to the upside here is very choppy, very much like the DXY over here in this particular area. You can see how Bitcoin also moved rapidly. It moved up, it came down, and it moved back up. Now, this choppy kind of area here basically means all of this is just three waves and isn't anything more than that. So if I go ahead and actually take this into consideration, we could potentially be looking at pushing up towards the 22K area, possibly um, under a three wave structure. It's also possible that we take it from a slightly different standpoint, such as down here. Uh, we move it over to this point here, and we can see that we're right up here on the 1.618 uh, of this particular area. Now we that would be really positive and really good if, of course, we were actually having an internal structure that was five waves, which it is not. So everything is here is just looking really, really corrective. Um, and there isn't actually terribly too much more to it. Now, if I zoom out of this, we can still take stock of the situation here and look at the move to the downside. This is still very much valid. And if anything, the moves that have been happening recently are compounding this issue and making it even more probable. Okay, because we are so heavily overbought and we're so heavily overbought on the macro timeframes that the move to the downside is the most likely scenario. For example, if I come up into our weekly time frame here and just bring this back down into view, just maximize this out a little bit for you guys, bring back our stochastic RSIs and our volume, you can see that we are almost back up in this overbought area. Okay, so this is really, really dangerous territory. Like last time we were up here was up in this particular area, and we're about to do some divergence on that. So for example, we can see that the price action has come down, but our RSI, our stochastic RSI is about to go up into higher highs. And so this essentially would mean that we've got a divergence and it's a bearish one at that. So we want to be really aware that the weekly time frame isn't as good and is not giving you the signals that um, maybe you're wanting to hear. So I apologize if that is not really uh, the narrative that you want to be listening to, but nonetheless, it is there. And the last time that we were up in this overbought area outside of this little area down here was up here at $48,000. So we know what happened after. So obviously, the stochastic RSI, doesn't give us a representation of price and but it does show us that momentum is getting ready to gear a shift down to the downside okay so we're looking um, for a move downwards this is also apparent on our daily chart when we take a look at it from this point of view we broke out of the triangle as expected this is also just an area here where we one two and three we are looking at moving down there isn't anything here that is happening that's unusual in any way shape or form other than the fact that dxy is being as volatile as it is now from our stochastic rsi on our daily chart we're also really high recently we pulled back down but we're starting to move back up again and that's not a good sign in my opinion um, although most recently we have actually set up a higher stochastic rsi with a higher price that's pretty standard and everything is moving quite nicely there no divergences that i can see within that um, but again if we were to reflect on higher we'd have the divergences from before where we are in fact going down lower in terms of price action yet going higher on the stochastic rsi the volume is also quite interesting recently we've seen a little bit of an increase but nothing major and um, so volume is actually decreasing during this time period as well ever so slightly 
So just be aware of those things. Now, obviously, in the background to this data, there are some obviously uh, big things that are going on, right? Some of the biggest ones come from the wallet counts and what is going on with the big kind of supersized wallets in, in Bitcoin, right? So we're talking Bitcoin whales, we're talking Bitcoin Kraken. OK, I believe these two wallets work together, uh, rather the Kraken 10,000 e, uh, Bitcoin wallet is is basically your um, your cold storage for your whales, possibly your exchanges, your market makers. I don't know who they are, but I know that they seem to be collaborating together with the way that the price or the way that the wallet counts are are working in conjunction. So, for example, here we have the whales coming out massively whilst the Krakens go up massively. Right. And so these things balance out is kind of the essential thing to kind of take into stock here the other thing that's really important to note is that actually from an inflow and outflow perspective in the last 24 hours as price has been you know really rapid to the upside we've seen a lot more in the way of inflows than we have outflows 43,000 bitcoin goes onto the exchanges with only 38,000 coming off the exchanges and we know where it went it went over here okay we've got a little bit of accumulation with the shark side of things but nothing too major and the retailers are doing what retailers do best overreact so you've kind of got the shrimps buying up everything because they believe that the one these one bitcoin is they believe that the bottom is in and you know we're going super super bullish whereas the dolphins are high net worth individual retailers are coming out of their positions very much like your whales and your big money they're coming out okay so one of the things that we have to understand is that the kraken size wallet is not a positive wallet okay in 2018 what you actually saw these guys do was accumulate during the bear market to dump it right on towards the very end of the bear market itself Self. okay that sounds almost counterintuitive because why would they be spending it on so much uh, spending so much money on building their positions only to dump it at a discounted rate and you've got to bear in mind that this is not necessarily them selling this is them transferring the bitcoin okay these wallets don't show you selling pressure that's where your inflows and your outflows are really key this shows you the number of wallets that are holding this amount of bitcoin question is where did it go when it came out of these wallets that's the more important question okay so when we reflect on what the whales were doing during this flat period of time this bear market low point you can see there's a huge uptick this is why i think that these two wallets work together to basically push the market in a particular direction so right now all you're really seeing is the kraken size wallets are increasing if i come over into this one here you can see that they are increasing during this bear market and whereas the whales are decreasing during this bear market right we know there's a transfer happening i think that kraken size wallets are going to dump this on the market bringing in the next local low that can split opinions and i totally appreciate that it's not what people want to hear but in the case of bitcoin here i think we are hanging up by a thread i think on the smaller time frames you can be super bullish i think there's more room to the upside on the hourly chart for example but i don't think it's something that is going to be sustainable for a long period of time i don't think that we are ready for a bull run and i don't think the data is suggesting that we are in one either but again i'll leave that for you guys to debate amongst yourselves in the comments below i personally think that we are going to be going down into new lower lows and that splits opinions but i do think it and i do think that we are going to see uh, the shrimps uh, the one bitcoiners being forced to sell their assets as mortgage rates go up as interest bank uh, central bank interest rates are increasing mortgage rates are going up people are going to have their fixed terms coming to an end and funny enough most two years uh two year um fixed term periods are also coming to an end as well um after kind of the the pandemic lockdowns and things like that so there's a lot of things going on and i do think the property market's going to get hit hard i do think uh, a lot of homeowners are going to get hit hard and i think that's going to create uh, forced sales of btc so while we're seeing a steady accumulation on those one bitcoiners i think that's going to come down and when that comes down the whales are going to buy it and when the whales are buying it you're going to see the crack and drop their bags as well so that the whales can buy all of that up or more specifically get it transferred back to them so essentially, uh, this market looks like we're going to see a huge influx of supply of Bitcoin at some point in the future. And therefore, I'm not bullish. If big money isn't buying it, I don't see why I should. Retail money is usually on the wrong end of this uh, if history does tend to repeat itself. Guys, I'm going to leave this video there. If you found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications. And in doing so, you will stay up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Guys, until the next one, have a fantastic day.